Good day. Hi, Valder. Hi out there. Hi. I want to let my listening audience know that I am talking to the world's (laughs) worst mom, and I thought I had that title. (laughs) I have Lenore Skenazy on the line, and she's going to tell us why she's trying to compete with my title of the world's worst mom. You know what we share. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for joining me. Tell me why they're calling you that. Well, uh, six years ago, I let my nine-year-old son take the subway by himself here in New York, where I live. I wrote a column about it, and uh, all hell broke loose. What can I say? I was on every talk show trying to defend my decision to let him take the subway. Well, obviously it paid off because you're (laughs) going to be talking every day probably about your decisions. I have been talking every day (laughs) about my decision. Thank you very much. Yeah. (laughs) You're going to be on the Discovery Channel, and now you have your own show called The World's Worst Mom. Or me, right? I do. Thank you for that lovely pitch. Um, Yeah, well, the deal is that there are a lot of parents out there, and I sympathize with them, who are extremely, extremely anxious for their kids. And um, I I end up going to 13 of them uh, to help them let go. Okay. Did it work? (laughs) It worked worked 12 out of the 13 times. I I really, you know, can't, can't win them all. But basically, we're talking about parents, usually moms, who are so nervous that, like, one mom... Um, would take her 13-year-old into the bathroom with her still, the, the ladies' room, and, and he was a boy. So, Ooh. yeah, mortifying. Um, another mom got her son a skateboard. He was desperate for a skateboard, but she made him, he could only use it on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> kind of slower. slower. Um, and another mom, the very first mom that I dealt with, uh, has a 10-year-old boy, and she was not only um, cutting his food for him, she wouldn't let him use a knife, but feeding him, some, not all the time, but sometimes feeding him with a fork in his mouth. Okay, so they really found you some good candidates. They did. They interviewed about 2,000 to, to find, because you had to find parents who were both overwhelmingly anxious and willing to have me, the world's worst mom, come to their house and challenge them for four days. So it, it was generally families that were so distressed, like at a I don't know if it was a breaking point, but so upset that the kids were pulling away or starting to hate the mom or whatever that they realized they had to change. And that's a, that's a good time to meet anybody when they're willing to change. Okay, so they're bringing you these kind of situations. Are they bringing you other kind of situations that we, we're not going to see? Like, uh, I have a problem making my kids go to church. I'm telling you the <laughs> truth. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I can't do any of that. And actually, when, when people think I'm a parenting expert, I'm like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? You should see my kids' rooms. And can I get my son to go to sleep on a school night? No. I know nothing about discipline. And I wouldn't even say I'm, I'm not a parenting expert. I'm a fear expert. And so what I do is I break through the fear, and it's actually not even me because nobody listens to me. What they listen to is their own kids. And so after I've, like, like the mom who wouldn't let her son ride a bike, um, basically I said, well, today you have to. That's, that's part of the show. You sign on for the show, and here's a bike, and here's your son, and do you want to take, do you want to try to ride the bike? And the kid's like, yes, yes, he wants to ride a bike. He's 10 years old. He's a boy. He can't ride a bike. You bet. And so I say, so today you have to let him. And that's all I do. And then the kid gets on the bike, and he keeps doing poorly, but he starts getting the hang of it. And finally, he learns how to ride a bike in front of me, in front of his mom. And then his mom bursts through the door when we get home. The camera crew is still schlepping off the the van. And the mom bursts through, and there's her mother, the grandma there. And she says, guess what, grandma? Sammy can ride a bike. And the grandma says, what? Our Sammy can ride a bike? And everybody is so proud and happy that they don't remember, like, you were the guys who wouldn't let him ride a bike. (laughs) You were the guys who said, what if he falls? What if he's sad? What if he's frustrated? So... The kids, the kids ch- change the parents. So I'm saying. Where do you, okay, the kids change the parents. Yeah. So where do you get this fearlessness from? Because I was serious about the world's worst mom. That's my, I think that's what my kids secretly call me behind my back because I am the one who, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm the disciplinarian, but I set uh-huh. the course in my, in, in my family's life. You set the course. Well, I think that's what moms generally do. And I don't think I'm particularly um, brave. I mean, I know people think I am, but. Um, I believe in, like, I make my kids wear helmets whenever they're on a bike or a skateboard, um, seat belts every time they're in the car, mouth guards when they play a sport. Um, if, if I was invited to a baby shower, if you were having a baby, I would bring a fire extinguisher. <laughs> so I don't think I'm brave. I just think that I, I recognize that 
my job as a parent can't be to pretend like they're still a baby when they start growing up. I can't feed my 10 year old in his mouth. And so I just, against my own nervousness, let them go. And, and I, I think like you, I mean, I, I don't let them go without any precautions. I mean, I've taught them how to cross the street safely. I've taught them, you know, not to go off with anybody that they don't know. You know, I mean, so it's, it's an old fashioned parenting style I'm suggesting, not something particularly brave or new. Well, Lenore Skenazy, you're going to be a delight to watch on the <laughs> Discovery Channel. When do you come on so I can get some parenting tips? Oh, it's not. It's not. It's fear tips. Um, I'm coming on uh, this this Thursday night. I'll be on at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, 8 o'clock Central Time on the Discovery Life Channel, which used to be Discovery Fit and Health. So if you got Discovery Fit and Health, you get Discovery Life, and there I am. Lenore Skenazy, you are going to be a delight to the public. I can't wait to you when you come back for your fifth season and all of that and tell me how great you're doing. Thank you, and I can't wait for your kids to go to church. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm still working on that one, Lenore. Thank you so much for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. Thanks, Valder.